Oh, oh it's blinking. Okay. Mine's not really a camera. Oh, it stopped blinking. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I would like to start with one word, patriotism. Patriotism is blindly supporting your country and government, even when they don't deserve it, and are actively curbing your civil liberties. Patriotism is the best thing in the world, because the government told me it is. Patriotism is supporting the troops, because they fought for your freedoms. Many people I have met are not nearly patriotic enough to honestly and rightfully take residence in my country. They simply say, I like America, but there are many other countries I could live happily in as well. This is completely wrong. God single-handedly chose this country and lifted it up from the oceans and gave us our effigies of McDonald's, George Strait, teenage pregnancy, and a $21 billion national debt. <laughs> it is quite obvious that we know what we are doing as a country and are most certainly a role to look up to. If you do not believe in this country to the point of actually hating your fellow man and even using using violence in some mild situations for simply having a different political view, and you aren't even patriotic in the slightest sense. I mean, somebody wanting somebody to be happy and above the poverty line, that's just not American. You may ask yourself, what does worship mean? Many people are familiar with the concept to some extent, and assign it meaning in, religious, in relation to religious activity, maybe within the context of a church. Here's the dictionary definition of that word. The feeling or expression of reverence and adoration for a deity. That is the minimum amount of respect required for Ronald Reagan, George Bush, John Wayne, Chuck Norris, and His Royal Highness Donald J. Trump. <laughs> the only reason America has lasted since 1776 is the sheer magnitude of the patriotism of its most devoted people, especially with the left side of the political compass actively doing everything they can to grind America into the ground and make the rest of the world hate us and be embarrassed to be our ally. But that will never happen because everyone loves us and adores us and because we are so kind and don't get involved in conflicts we don't need to be in. Which we should take as a sign to be more patriotic because it obviously resonates so well with the rest of the world. And furthermore, being born in a certain location is most obviously a personal decision and something you can control. So it makes sense to be unreasonably proud of that decision. I'm sure most of the poverty-stricken immigrants who come to America in various forms chose to be born into their situation which means it's completely okay to scrutinize and belittle them as such. And I would like to share a quote with you. This quote is, Patriotism is not an abstract concept. It begins from one's own home. It buds out from the love of, for one's parents, spouses, and children, for the love of one's home, village, and workplace, and further develops into a love for one's country, country and fellow people. I find that quote great, and it sums up patriotism very well. That quote came from Kim Jong-un. I have a short story I would like to share with you. When I was knee-high to a gym bug, my grandfather told me these things. I knew immediately he was speaking the truth. I knew these things were true because the government had told me, him, and my father these things. Furthermore, my ancestors have lived in America since the 1740s and have passed down these undoubtable teachings since then. And if the government believes it's correct, and people from seven, several hundred years ago living in quite a different time found it relevant and knew it was important when they were living, then it must be relevant today and completely truthful. I come from quite the patriotic family, and I hope I am able to help, and I hope I am able to help you guys be aware of that. You might get a sad. I'll have to blur out his face though, because he might get a sad.